This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the pH of buffer solutions. To calculate the pH of a buffer solution, we use the Henderson Hasselbach equation, which can be found in section 1 of the data booklet. So the pH of a buffer solution is equal to the pKa plus the log of the concentration of the salt divided by the concentration of the weak acid. When using the Henderson Hasselbach equation, we make two assumptions. A weak acid partially dissociates, which means the equilibrium lies to the left. Because the dissociation of the weak acid is so small, the assumption we make is that the initial concentration of the weak acid is approximately equal to the equilibrium concentration of the weak acid. The second assumption that we make is that the salt Ma completely dissociates in solution. Therefore, the initial concentration of the salt is approximately equal to the equilibrium concentration of the anion. Next, we look at an example. Calculate the pH of a buffer solution containing 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 mole per decimeter ethanoic acid and 3.60 times 10 to the negative 3 mole per decimeter sodium ethanoate. So here we have the Henderson Hasselbach equation which can be found in section 1 of the data booklet. The pKa of ethanoic acid is 4.76. This can be found in section 21 of the data booklet. Next, we input the concentrations of the sodium ethanoate and the ethanoic acid. When we do the calculation, we get a pH value of 4.92. The two assumptions that we make when using this equation are that the salt completely dissociates into ions and that the equilibrium concentration of the acid is the same as its initial concentration. Next we look at one more example. Calculate the pH of a solution prepared by mixing 50 cm3 of 0.2 mol per decimeter ethanoic acid and 50 cm3 of 0.1 mol per decimeter sodium hydroxide. So we'll start by writing the balanced equation. Sodium hydroxide reacts with ethanoic acid to produce sodium ethanoate and water. Next, we'll calculate the amount in moles of sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid. Using the equation, number of moles equals concentration times volume in decimeters. And here we have the amount in moles of sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid. So we've just calculated the initial number of moles of sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid. The limiting reactant is sodium hydroxide, therefore the excess reactant is ethanoic acid. We can then calculate the final number of moles of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. As you can see, we have equal amounts of a weak acid and the salt of a weak acid and a strong base. Next, we'll use the Henderson-Hasselbach equation to calculate the pH of the buffer solution. For this part of the equation, I've calculated the concentration of the salt and the weak acid in moles per decimeter. So this gives us the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of 1. The log of 1 equals 0, therefore the pH is equal to the pKa. The pKa of ethanoic acid is 4.75, therefore the pH of the buffer solution is 4.75.